My name's Lori and I live at the Dream Center. I believe my father was an alcoholic without the alcohol. He had all the behaviors and characteristics of one. And so he was very harsh. He told me I would be fat, ugly, and stupid my whole life. And I believed that um, right up until recently. We see a lot of women who had traumatic childhoods, uh, women who have come out of abusive relationships uh, with boyfriends. Uh, we also see women who actually would have a fairly good home life, but maybe were never taught boundaries or consequences and just got into the fun party scene and lost control. I had to ask my husband to leave because I could no longer put up with his drinking. And then my daughter took her life two years ago and I really went downhill. Um, I didn't get dressed. I didn't go out. I looked after my two cats and that was the extent of my life. Um, it's very dark, it's very depressing, it's cold, it's lonely, and I was too afraid to live and I didn't know how to die. Isolation when it's with people where there's no real connection um, is escapism. It's complete and utter disconnection from the world and from people, and it's especially disconnection from self. It's fear of rejection. Relationships have is what has hurt them and relationships are what heals them. The husband that I threw out <laughs> ended up at the Dream Center and I was visiting him. A gentleman pointed me towards a gentleman by the name of Mac and he said, come with me. And he showed me a sign up list for the Women's Dream Center and I went, I want in. So I believe when I came in here, I kissed the floor because I was just so grateful to be in a safe place. We want to have an environment that's very, very inviting so we start every single morning as a group. Community just gives us that sense of life and hope and belonging and it just fills some of those core needs that we have. How have I changed? I like people today. I have women friends which I've never had. Um, it feels like the women in this home are my family. They're not the enemy, they're my friend and they don't want to stab me in the back, they have my back. And it's, it's an awesome feeling. Um, we're all here because we want to make a big change in our life. I have just seen women like Lori absolutely transform. When you see the women start to connect and those walls come down as they're vulnerable and they know that they can trust, they change because that core thing that they really, really wanted, which was acceptance and belonging, is happening and it's human flourishing. It's human flourishing. They uh, become fun, they become giving, they become caring and you start to see all their, uh, all that they were gifted and purposed to be starts to come alive. It's like God has wrapped me up in this fuzzy little blanket and he's protecting me and he's leading me and guiding me through everything. This place is amazing. It changes lives and it saved mine. And I, I thoroughly believe if I had not gotten in here, I wouldn't be alive today. This place saved my life, and I'm grateful.